सो हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू शुक्ला ब्लॉग्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ब्रांच माइग्रेशन सो टू डिस्कस दैट टॉपिक वी हैव इन आर पैनल कृष्णा प्रियदर्शन थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू ओए सो ही ही वाज इन सीपीएस इन फर्स्ट ईयर एंड ही वाज द ब्रांच टॉपर ऑफ सीपीएस एंड देन ही ही जस्ट माइग्रेटेड हिज ब्रांच टू सीएससी कोर सो सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ब्रांच माइग्रेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So our uh, first question to you is uh, how was the journey in VIT up till now So if I am to talk about myself my journey up till now I would say it has rather been like a roller coaster uh, continuous ups and downs no time to rest at all but yeah it has been exciting as well and uh, for now it was it felt like it has been juggling juggling around how do I study how do i keep up with the studies how do i talk with professors how do i interact what to focus what not to focus and yeah most of all uh, how do i s- remain awake in the atm classes so uh, so it was great and uh, so what was your achievement as a as a ranker in your previous branch and how was your how was you awarded by it? Uh, when i first entered uh, as a fresher in vit as a cps student i was very nervous and uh, yeah the one thing which we all have in common okay we i have to study i have to get good marks that was the thing which came to my mind and uh, try to make friends try to enjoy i know some of it was good some of it was bad but uh, in the end when i saw the results it felt good because the at the end of the first sem there was a number sticking to me Uh, and uh, people started referring to me as a nine pointer or a topper something like that and uh, honestly uh, that kind of felt pretty good and uh, how was i rewarded um, usually what we it does is uh, at the end of every year uh, for after two semesters each uh, semester for every year uh, what it does is uh, it conducts an university day where it awards people with uh, merit achieve academic merits like if you have a very good cgpa uh, which is if you rank among the top 10 among your branch or if you have a 100% attendance uh, something like that in that case uh, vit awards you with cash some kind price. of some kind of cash prize or or, or merit uh, and certificates as well so as a third ranker in my branch in the first sem i got around uh, 10000 Okay. In INR uh, as cash prize, yeah. So in the new branch, what's your experience and also what's your current CGPA? Ah, uh, so now I have migrated to CAC Core, as you know, and uh, okay, my CGPA currently it uh, is, uh, I can say it is good and uh, growing nine point six, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, and as for my experience in the new branch, ah. Uh, at first i was pretty nervous i started uh, calling all the seniors that i knew that okay bhai i should i migrate or not is a csc core is a good option for migration uh, should branch migration be an option for me if i get good cgp or something uh, then everybody said okay if you want to then it is a good opportunity uh, you will get to meet a way, more number of people have interaction with uh, many different students many different professors and uh, say a migration from branch uh, to core is always preferable i don't know why but uh, they recommended that uh, if you wa- want core then you should because then you will have the option of choosing any other specialty as well yeah so that uh, motivated me into applying for this uh, my branch migration and uh, for now the experience has been quite bumpy at the start yes but now started settling into it yeah Okay, so the main question is, what is the procedure for this? Like all these branch migration and for all the things, what is the procedure? Pretty forward. The procedure is uh, pretty straight uh, forward. You apply for it, you pay for it, and if you get selected, you again pay uh, some amount, and uh, then you get an email. Okay, that you have been migrated. The process actually begins with uh, vit sending an email that uh, branch migration has been enabled and if uh, any student wants to apply for it then they can and for the application you just need to fill out your current cgpa 
uh, and if you are fresher so normally it is only for uh, freshers only so the current first semester gpa and once that has been filled uh, and uh, in which branch you want to migrate and the reason you want to migrate nothing else and you that can be filled uh, via vtop only mm-hmm. and once that happens uh, you will always again get a mail if you get selected and have uh, you will have to pay of a price for applying for this migration mm-hmm. it's a uh, around 1000 rupees for just for applying just for applying, just for applying. if you get selected then you can choose to migrate uh, pay the migration amount and then choose to migrate and what the migration amount uh, the migration would amount would be 9000 okay i am once uh, you migrate you again get a mail that you have been migrated the next procedure in proceedings uh, again all the details will be forwarded you to your mails only that okay the your new vita id is this your new vita password is this uh, and uh, yeah all the administrative changes are taken effect uh, momentarily afterwards you don't need to worry about that yeah so coming to that like what are the administrative and what are the other things other changes uh, you had faced like uh, for the branch migration like when you migrated so what all things had changed uh, yeah so for migration the first thing which i want to say that changed was uh, my friend circle uh, my circle in which i w- was communicating in the first year that completely changed now it was getting it would become difficult to interact with your friends since they are not in your class you will get to have a, a huge exposure but uh, yeah i got nervous as well because a completely new surrounding completely new teachers uh, so socially it might become a little pressure if you start uh, as a bi- migrated student because uh, you know all the people in your migrated branch already have their friends they have a friend circle so fitting into it you have to have a little bit of courage but don't worry it's not something to be worried about uh, a little bit of courage a little bit of interaction and uh, you will be again normal academically if i say yeah if you are a mechanical student or a non cse core student and you want to migrate into cse core then there are some courses that are offered to cse core previous before Uh, like for example you have the java course which we have in the third sem but for other students they have a, for example i have a friend in mechanical so he already had java in his first year my friend had uh, to complete the object and object oriented programming course in this sem after the migration uh, which we already completed uh, as a cpa student that is the one thing which you will have to worry about if you are migrating from mechanical to cse or any other non cse branch to cse uh, the courses which you already have been taught to cse students you will have to register for them independently and you are only responsible for that and that is one thing uh, if you are transferring from any any cse specialty branch to cse core or core to specialty uh, you won't face much difficulty because most of the courses are same only uh, for administrative changes i would say you could get a new id card that's a plus point and uh, yeah you get a hostel privileges according to what your new migration branches and uh, you might have to reset all your documents that uh, you already submitted because you are now a student from a different one branch but uh, i don't know if that changes uh, if the, in, in the coming next year then well and good but yeah pretty much those are the things which you will feel the changes if you migrate okay so lastly uh, can you ha- can you tell some suggestions to our freshers which are going to come here uh, if they got some lower branches so can you tell the tell, tell them that uh, how to uh, study in the first year so that they can trans- uh, migrate to different branches and upper branches okay so i will have uh, two suggestions for them Yeah. Um, before that uh, if you want to migrate if you uh, if you don't get a branch of your choice then don't worry there is an option to migrate that's what i want to say the second thing is uh, the branch migration is not for everybody uh, it uh, has a seat limit normally the branch in which you want to migrate in the population of that branch matters uh, so, and uh, the top the 3% of the population in that branch is uh, the seat limit which you get 
Like for example, if the branch in which I want to migrate in has 1,000 students, so around 30 seats will be reserved for migrated students, and uh, only 30 students will be selected for it if they apply. Uh, so the top 30 students uh, are selected of, of all of them which are applying. So just a little bit of hard work if you want to do it. It's not that difficult. The coming on to the two suggestions which I wanted to say is uh, the first thing: consistency is key and uh, cramming won't do it if you uh, think that okay i'll cram everything into whatever the teachers has been taught has taught us in just two or three days before the exam and that will work okay in that in some cases it might but uh, it is very difficult because as from my side or whatever i'm saying it is from my side because the thing is that if you want to cram everything in the last two or three days then it becomes difficult uh, to achieve good marks or a good recognition, good score in your exams. What I would suggest is keep being consistent in your classes, keep being present in your classes, interact with your teachers, interact with the seniors. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you do that much only, uh, the first time is uh, first semester is pretty easy. It would go like a cinch. And uh, the second suggestion which I would I want to give is don't stress too much about uh, these things take this as a, a playlist right whenever the song gets too heavy just change the genre don't stress too much if you take stress uh, the things you which you want to do you will not even if you have a plan to do it you won't be able to do it so minimizing the stress is the key that would be from my side so it was great talking to you krishna so that's the time so thanks for watching and uh, so like please like share subscribe and also do comment uh, if you have any doubts regarding any topic in uh, for vit so thanks for watching and keep watching shukla vlogs